Noam Moore is a physicist with degrees from Yale and Pennsylvania University. He has worked on global warming campaigns for the United States Public Interest Research Group, for which he published several reports on climate change and fuel economy standards. A recent study found that we will deplete the oceans of all the commonly eaten species of fish in the next few decades. You can see from space the lines made in the ocean by ships who are dragging behind them huge nets. People think of the ocean as just so vast that we could never have a big effect on it. But just like we have a huge effect on climate with our emissions, we're having a huge effect on the oceans by our vast appetite for seafood. Most people have come to believe that eating fish is healthy, that fish contain omega-3 oil that is good for the heart. A closer look at the scientific literature reveals a different story. A large, long-term study by Michael Burr and colleagues from the University of Wales College of Medicine, Cardiff, reported that men with chest pain caused by heart disease had a higher risk of heart attack when they took fish oil capsules. Fish and seafood contain significant amounts of fat, including cholesterol. Prawns have two times the amount of cholesterol found in beef. And three ounces of salmon is equivalent to three ounces of T-bone steak or chicken in fat content. Fish harbor a lot of bacteria, which flourish at colder temperatures such as those found in refrigerators. The fishy smell is an indicator that these bacteria have begun to multiply and have started breaking down or decomposing the fish. The decomposition includes omega-3 fish oils. Once this spoiling process has begun, the omega-3 oils not only become useless, but also begin to release free radicals. This begins and leads to a wide variety of diseases. The fact is, linseed oil derived from purely vegetarian sources contains twice as many omega-3 oils. Linseed oil has no cholesterol and it is lower in saturated fat. It does not break down as easily into free radicals as does fish. As much as 10% of raw shellfish are infected with organisms that can cause hepatitis, salmonella poisoning and cholera. A recent study published in the American Journal of Cardiology reports that fish is not a boon for good health, as consumers are often led to believe. The study suggests that fish consumption does not improve heart health or improve heart disease. Fish contain significant amounts of protein. The Western diet already contains twice the amount of protein needed for optimum health. As scientists have already demonstrated, too much protein in the diet carries the risk of all the diseases of affluence. Accumulation of chemicals, toxins and heavy metals like mercury. Everything from human waste to industrial waste ends up in rivers, lakes and oceans. The consequence is that fish and shellfish can accumulate extremely high levels of toxins. Fish are the oceans and waterways cleaners and filters. They take in chemicals and wastes and retain these hazardous substances until the fish die. In 1962, Rachel Carson, in her book called Silent Spring, warned of the dangers to be anticipated in the future, resulting from the 637 million pounds of synthetic poisons which were produced every year and then released into our environment. Since then, as Al Gore has pointed out, the production of these toxins has increased by 400%. In Rachel Carson's words, this pollution is for the most part irrecoverable. The chain of evil it initiates not only in the world that must support life, but in living tissues is for the most part irreversible.
Living tissues includes us humans, all the animals, including fish, and all living vegetation. We have polluted our environment in the name of progress to such an extent that we are now reaping what we have sown. We poisoned the environment with all our modern day activities and it is now returning in the form of fish and flesh from other animals to poison us back. Fish bred in farms bring even more health hazards to the table. Less and less of the fish we people eat comes from the oceans and more and more it's being replaced by industrialized aquaculture where animals are raised in uh, enclosed areas where just stuffed so tightly in there that there's hardly room for them to swim around and as a result um, this requires an enormous amount of uh, feces and pollution that just settles out of that whole area and destroys the entire um, area of the ocean around them. Soon almost all the fish that people eat will be coming from these farms as we've depleted the oceans and it's a, it's a serious threat. This artificial chemical pigment is used in salmon to give them their nice pink color when they are bred in captivity. Without it, salmon would be a pale gray color. Salmon farmers can choose the depth of the color they want in their fish. The chemical pigment was banned and withdrawn from the market as a sunless tanning pill because it was linked to retinal eye damage. It is very difficult to find a fish that has not been exposed to some contamination. All these toxins end up on your table and in your body. In practical terms, for the rest of your life.